This race does affect the balance of power in the House, eating into the GOP's slim majority. Republicans hold 219 seats. Tonight, Democrats adding one more to their 212 seats. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now to put this contest into perspective. Marsha, a lot of subtext here. Let's start with the obvious meanings that, uh, that you can see. Well, the really important thing is, is what we just talked about, the balance of power. It was brought home tonight when the House decided to vote to impeach Alejandro Mayorkas by one vote. The Homeland so, Security Secretary. So now we have one more Democratic vote, and that's going to make a difference. Remember, it's a razor-thin majority that the Republicans have. Big issues coming up. Tom Swaz is going to be able to play a role in that. So the folks that know a little bit about campaigning said that this was going to be a ground game, getting voters to the polls. How did Swazi achieve that to well, get this victory tonight? There's, there's one wag in, in uh, Long Island that basically said that, uh, that it was an issue that had something to do with snow and that God was obviously a Democrat today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the truth of the matter is that it was the early voting. Mm. Early voting, 80,000 people voted and 11,000 more Democrats than Republicans voted. That may have been the margin that uh, helped Tom Swasey to uh, victory. Mm -hmm. Big difference there. Okay. Marsha, thank you. Appreciate Thanks, the insight.